Now we know what the fill one away code means and where to find the pressure switch that might cause this. Let's talk about the reasons why you might encounter this problem. One of the more common reasons is just the system pressure is too low. Check the gauges in your system, make sure the pressure is at least 20 PSI. If the problem still persists and you have the plumbing set up as per the installation manual, a good next step is to open up the cabinet, access the sensor, and disconnect it. Once you have the sensor disconnected, we need to establish whether we potentially have a bad sensor, possibly the wire harness is damaged, or maybe there is something wrong with the control board, although that tends to be very rare. The way I like to do this is I hold the plug facing me with the wires pointed straight up. And in order to bypass the switch for testing purposes only, you're going to put a jumper wire between the middle connection and the left hand connection as you look at the plug when it's in this orientation. And as you see here, the error code has immediately gone away, which would indicate in this case that there is something wrong with the pressure switch or we don't have enough pressure in the system. As soon as I remove the wires, the error should come back. If you've established that the pressure switch is the problem and you need to remove it, it's simply a matter of loosening the side panel here. There's a single clip that holds the sensor in and you pull the clip out, lift up on the sensor, and it will come out of the boiler. Make sure to thoroughly drain the boiler before doing this because it is under pressure and will leak. Here's a close up of removing the sensor. This is the wire clip here. You're simply gonna push this towards the rear of the boiler. Gently pull up on the sensor and the sensor will come out. The way this works, is in the middle here is the diaphragm. As the water pressure pushes up through here, it closes the switch contact, telling the boiler that there's enough water pressure in there. These are sealed from the factory and are not intended to be adjustable. If you find that you have sufficient water pressure but the switch is not working, you can replace the switch. To reinstall the switch, reverse the process. Take the switch, put it in place, pull the clip towards the front of the boiler. Make sure to give that a good jiggle to make sure that it is in place tightly and will not pop out when you pressurize the boiler. Once you have the switch back in, give it a good tug to make sure that it's secure. Grab your wire harness, plug it back in. And now it's time to reassemble the cabinet.